Hi everyone, I'm doing this tutorial according to a request that I received from a subscriber. Uh, he told me that he can't get harsh shadows from his HDRI. So um, I decided to make this tutorial and yeah. So uh, I have here two different HDRIs. Uh, one with the overcast sky and the other one with um, clear sky. So the first key to get harsh shadows in your render is you should pay attention uh, to the sky. Is it an overcast sky or, or a clear sky? If it is an overcast sky, you will not get harsh shadows because the sky here is is diffusing the light that coming from the sun so the light is coming from everywhere and hitting the object from everywhere hence you will get um, some diffused shadows or, or some uh, soft shadows uh, even if the sun is have a high dynamic range than the the sky, you will, you will not get harsh shadows. But if you have a clear sky with a high dynamic range uh, sun, you will, you will definitely get harsh shadows. If you have a good quality HDRI, of course, or, and stuff like that, we will see later. Um, so, and the second K to get uh, harsh shadows is the the scale of the the, uh, the light source if the light source is is very big you will get soft shadows if the light source is uh, is small if you have a point light source you will get uh, harsh shadows from it like the sun in our case here is is this, uh, the sun is big but it's it's far away from us so we consider it as a small light source uh, the third k to get harsh shadows is uh, the the dynamic range in your HDRI the dynamic range is the the difference between the white pixels and the black pixels in your in your HDRI. Um, so as you can see here, I have here an HDRI high dynamic range image, and I have here a LDRI low dynamic range image. Any JPEG or PNG or stuff like that are low dynamic range image. That's because in um, in our uh, low dynamic range image you will see if I did uh, decrease the exposure you will see the Sun is fading away with the entire image so there is no enough information uh, about the lighting in the scene and if I just go to information information here and pay attention to the R RGB RGB um, value you will see that in the best cases the Sun will have the the value of 1 which is white so you can see here the sky is really low have uh, has a really low intensity and the sky and the Sun is have one has one in the intensity so and that's bad for for lighting, you will not get harsh shadows from that uh, that JPEG. But if I go to my high dynamic range image, you will see that the sky has a higher value than than the sun in our low dynamic image, and you will see the difference between the sky and the sun over here. If I go to the sun, you will see that. It has a high, a very high intensity, 
we see four uh, about five hundred in the intensity and the difference between the pixels that are around the sun and the pixel that is in that is in the sun uh, the difference is very very high so that's the second uh, so that's the third sorry that's the third uh, key to get high shadows you should really really get a high dynamic range image with with a with a difference between the sky between the light that coming from the sky and the light that coming from the sun if the sun is is very very high in the in, in the intensity uh, you will get directional light thus you will get um, hard shadows so so uh, that's the third uh, K so now if if I don't have a very intense uh, Sun in our in my HDRI I can I can basically just uh, paint it paint that uh, that Sun so I should make sure that I have in my mode 32 bits and I will go to my color palette you will see here I have the color palette and I have the intensity of the color too. Um, sorry, I will uh, get the same color of the same color of the sun, All right? And I I can just paint that. Uh, let me I wrap the intensity to something like let me see one hundred. This window. Okay, uh, so I can just paint sun like that. You will see now I have a ridiculous amount of intensity in the sun. So, um, so these are just some rules about the HDRI. Now we're gonna jump to Cinema 4D and see our application uh, of these rules. So I have that, uh, that sphere and I have that uh, area light. Um, it's just an area light with one in an intensity and you can see uh, it's a big light source uh, compared to the to the sphere if I did a render if I do a render you will see the soft shadows but if I grab the same uh, light source and I did make it far away from the sphere you will see now it will gives me some harsh shadows they are not entirely harsh but they are they are harder than than the one we get so and if I did make the source smaller, it will definitely get harsher shadows. As you can see, the position of, of light does matter also. If I just position it like that, you will see you will, you will get harsher shadows. All right, so now let's go to our second scene. So I have a light in my scene now. Uh, I will add a Vera light to it. 
I will shit shadows are enabled. I will change it to Doom and I will increase the subdivision to thirty two and let me um, okay, let me select my HDRI So that's my HDRI. Uh, I have an HDRI with clear sky. So by default, the HDRI, if some HDRIs, if you load them to cinema, you will uh, you will get some overexposed HDRI. So what I'm going to do, I will uh, decrease the exposure, something like minus five or something, minus. Okay. So, and I will change the color profile to S sRGB. It's it somehow uh, helps to get harsh shadows. I don't know why. I, I think because the it it gives some contrasty look to the HDRI. So I will decrease the intensity a little bit. And let me do a preview in there. It does give me some harsh shadows now, as you can see. If you... You can add a filter to the HDRI and decrease the gamma to something like 85.85 and you will get let me just um, rotate the light source and see if I get these shadows in the right place Yeah, as you can see here, we've got some harsh shadows. And that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and uh, share the video. And thank you for watching.